So now I'm going to check to see if fermentation is complete. You do that by checking its gravity using a hydrometer. I have this entirely sanitized, so the volume of beer that I'm going to be pouring into this flask, I can add back to the fermenter, and so we haven't lost any volume of beer. So this is our siphon. It's a two-piece. We have a tube that is flexible and then a hard tube with a uh, blocker on the bottom so you don't catch any sediment. This clip here allows you to stop and start the flow of the liquid. To start a siphon, we could fill it with water and then use that to suck through sanitizer and then go into the beer. I like to do the method that people don't usually uh, champion, which is to actually use your mouth. So I dip this end into my bucket of sanitizer and I'm just going to pull on this until it starts flowing and then close it. So now we're going to take the siphon, put it into our fermenter, and open the siphon until beer starts coming through and then adding it to our hydrometer. So I'm going to take off the top, dip this into here, being careful to keep it near the top and slide it in so it doesn't get any sediment. And then over here, I'm going to have this angled so I don't add any uh, oxygen. I'm going to drain this until beer starts showing up. And then I'm going to fill very gently. I'm going to close this. And there we go. So this is the measurement for the hydrometer. Uh, we look at where on this scale, where it starts off with the 1.000, where it's floating. Uh, this is at a 1.018. We're expecting it to be anywhere between a 1.010 and a 1.018 when it's done with fermentation. Uh, if you're not certain if fermentation is done, you can do this step a couple times across a couple days. If the number stays the same, then your fermentation is complete. So we have this volume of beer, we can either dump it, or if we really want to save it, we pour it back into the fermenter. Make sure your hands are clean, pull out the siphon, and then we're going to pour this in here at an angle and gently. We do not want to add oxygen at all because that will add off flavor. So this is a risky move, but if you want to save a couple extra ounces of beer to drink later, it's perfectly fine. Just be careful and make sure your fingers, like mine here, is sanitized so in case you had to catch the hydrometer. And there we go. So now we need to prepare our bottles for filling. We want to make sure that the bottles are sanitized inside and out. That includes the rubber stopper and the lip. Once those are sanitized, we need to add our priming sugar. That's one teaspoon to each one of these pint-sized glasses. Uh, the best way I found to add sugar into the bottles is to make a funnel out of parchment paper. It tends to be incredibly clean, so we don't have to worry about sanitizing it and getting it wet, which means the sugar won't clump to it. So we take what was a sanitized spoon that has dried, and then just add it straight into the bottle. There we go. And just do that with each bottle. So our bottles are prepped with priming sugar, they're sanitized, I'm pouring them in a space lower than the fermenter so the siphon will actually pull the beer into the bottle. Uh, if you have a second pair of hands, you want to make sure the person, uh, makes sure that the siphon does not touch the sediment on the bottom here. If you don't have a second set of hands, just gently place it on there. If it pulls some of that through, it's okay, it'll settle out once the beer has conditioned in the fridge. So I've already started my siphon. It's full of sanitizer. I'm going to gently, very gently, place this in the fermenter. I'm going to then drain out until I pull beer. There we go. And once again, we don't want to add oxygen, so we want to pour this in gently. So I have this open. It's pouring through. I've got a nice flow happening. Almost full. So the moment it overflows, it's going to be the right height 
because once you pull the tube out, it'll drop down to this line on the neck, and that is your perfect filling height. Then what you want to do is seal each one of these, just swivel the top on, lock it down, repeat that with each of the bottles, and then it's just going to sit for a week. One thing to note, if your flow starts to slow down, it could be that your tube is kinked from the pincher. So just slide that up and down and it will fix the flow. And then when you are done filling a bottle, just stick the tube into the next bottle and that way it keeps sanitized. So there you have it. Your beer is bottled. Now all you have to do is wait a week, week and a half for the beer to carbonate keep it in a cool, dark place, just like you did the fermenter. Then stick one bottle in the fridge, give it a little while to chill down, pop it open, and if it seems nice and foamy, then you're good to go.